Let us continue playing Battlefleet Gothic 2. Battlefleet Gothic Armada 2, sorry. As we last left off, we had survived the invasion of a Chaos Force into the Barista system. We have now, I think, run out of time to build up. Maybe. We'll probably spend a couple, two more turns, but that'll be it. Just to build up some resource points. Because they are more likely to be doing things again. And if they go for another invasion, we'd probably have to do something about that. So, yeah. With everything kind of having been done, um... Let's remember one turn. Here is the threat of the faction controlling the system. By one sector. Okay, fine. Um... Not something that necessarily affects us at this point. Imperial cooldown of launch base would be nice. I'm just seeing if there's anything significant we want to upgrade before we go into this. I don't think there is. Okay, so we have 187 points here. We go one further upgrade. Increased bravery might be relevant. Reduced chaos for actually could be okay. And increased renowned earnings always probably worthwhile in all honesty. I already have that up to four. And we've got the Agri Worlds, I guess. Alright, we're going to pick up the extra Agri World, and we are then going to. Uh, I don't know whether I want to move this back or wait, in all honesty. Our ships are fully set up, so we can we can go for this. But getting an extra fleet in might be relevant as well. We've got to wait eight turns before that refreshes. Or go for one of the um, Space Marine chapters, which we might do. Alright, one more turn. Turn 25, we are going to go for it then. So we have enough points to build an extra fleet depending on what we want to do. Well, we can build an extra fleet next turn, I guess. This, this feels like I'm pushing my luck, but we're going to push our luck. <laughs> One more. I want to build that third fleet. Fourth fleet, rather. Turn 26. 317. Okay. Then let's build ourselves another fleet here. We don't want to necessarily build another Space Marine fleet. We already have that. So we are going to build an Imperial Navy fleet, but it's going to be... Well, the Garmageddon fleet was terrible. They're only used to fighting orcs, apparently. So we'll have a solar fleet join us. And let's add another couple of ships to that. So currently we have the Endeavour, but we want to obviously upgrade that. So the Endeavour is a missile ship with fairly standard lo loadout here. Side, of side fighting, obviously. So we probably don't want to go for a Nova Cannon too much. Lance battery weapons. What are your bonuses? Short burn torpedoes. But I imagine that's on the flagship only. No, all the fleet ships. Okay, so this probably wants to be a torpedo fleet then. So that seems like an all-rounder, in all honesty, the dictator. So going with a lunar class ship. So this is the same as um, Admiral Spire's ship. Yeah, so we'll add one of those. We have 41 points remaining. So we can also buy an escort. And I guess we might as well go for another torpedo ship. Front mounted macro turret. They're not they're not that useful as I've mentioned before, but add a falchion in for our last set of points. Okay, so we got a couple of good fleets there, in my opinion. We do, however, want to go in and upgrade this to the flagship. Yeah, so the Gothic are green, the solar ships are white. And we need to give it a new name, so... Eh, nah, we'll just go with the shield of Marajan. I'm sure I'm sure we can shield things. So there we go, shield of the Marajan. 
will lead that third fleet there. Now, I also happen to know from advance that we actually want to go this direction when we get to the next one, so that's not the worst positioning there. And we're just going to hope that we can actually do the Acadia mission with what we've currently got in place. So, let's deploy against Warlord Svok, or Svosk. Admiral, we're showing Imperial vessels engaged with traitor vessels around the ruins of Cadia. Horspex is show massive damage across all vessels. They cannot endure long. Then we have arrived at a propitious moment. All ships, prepare to attack. I am also reading concentrations of plasmic stellazoa in local space. They are highly unstable and will explode on contact. I recommend we eliminate them before we engage the enemy, Admiral. Agreed. Let it be so. Okay, so what they're basically warning us about are some floating um, electrical space monsters. <laughs> um, which will do a lot of damage if they Lord are Admiral, not dealt with quickly. Much more of this, and my strategian reports more enemy vessels inbound. Is this true? I concur. Hold fast, Captain. If the Emperor wills it, we shall be your salvation. Alright, how's the Nova Cannon range looking? Not quite far enough. It's ridiculous range, of course, but not that ridiculous. Okay, so we have allied ships we need to try and defend here. Aye, Admiral. Engaging engines! And we want to try and defend the flagship. Good news is this gives us a few extra people. Bad news is Engaging Please kill that fast. Nope, that actually was in range for it. Okay, fine. Nova Cannon, though, has been activated and readied. I went a bit too close for that, in all honesty, but we'll see. That's fine, they're continuing. Um, we are not moving. We serve. Engaging target. Let's all head full for the time being just to get us into range here because otherwise, yeah, we're going to have a few people not entirely being too helpful to us in all honesty. Oh, here we go. Range established. Let's get that killed. 25 seconds away from another rush here and we've got a few other bits and pieces we can do to destroy this ship first your orders radar with the scouts in return we wait your command yes yeah, so I think that cruise is just gonna die ship before ready. we have too much to worry about here it's just in case of what we can do to the other ones Where's our Nova Cannon pointing? Your orders? Oh, there we are. We are ready to serve. Yeah, let's take out. Oh, no, no, no. That was bad. Um, you need to get out of there. Whoops. Let's ignore that, Mission. shall we? Target locked in. The Emperor protects. Let's not talk about that mutinous action here. Clearly, clearly it was for the greater good. They were all traitors. Traitors of the Imperium. The oh, how else could they have got this far? They're actually already bordering a mutiny ship. Targeting enemy vessel. Which apparently let Okay, fine. That apparently was the way they actually got off of that. For the Emperor! Okay, well they're mutinying again. We can in theory set up some plasma bombs, but we'll hold off. Engaging target! We wait your command. Yeah, 
you're basically out, so let's go and Target just button. retarget down there. Receiving your order. Yeah, let's just have a quick observation of what's going on around it, in all honesty. Aye, Admiral. Put it back on radar, thank you. We wait your command. Engaging. Doesn't seem to be too much actually here, by the look of it. And you're in Nova Cannon range, so say hello to the Nova Cannon again. We serve. Aye, Admiral. I'm not seeing any more Chaos vessels actually, which Targeting I'm surprised at. Maybe it's a two-part mission. I'm just. We're waiting for the main force to arrive, ship but ready. this has not been particularly difficult. Yeah, they've lost one ship to um, friendly fire, or you know, the Emperor's judgment, one of one of the other. We serve for the Emperor. I don't even have to send the righteous friend computer off for a torpedo run here, but we're going to anyway. That looks good. Except for the fact that we hit some rocks, which I didn't actually notice were in the way. Course engaged. We serve. Well, let's deal with Engaging that just because. Target. Just because. We your command. But yeah, it's on fire. And it's duped. So, another deluded worm comes crawling to the wreck of Cadia. There is no more defiance in this place. Only death at the War Master's command. Death there shall be. But at Cadia, the Emperor's will yet prevails. Machine spirit appeased. Transition begun. Okay, well, let's see what we can do here with a Nova Cannon shot. Especially if you're going to come right into range. So, this is just a cruiser sized ship, so it's not actually even that threatening for us. Your orders? Coordinates acknowledged. Let's try and get those a little closer to the action. Cruising speed set. Target locked in. <laughs> you can even use the Engaging. yeah mobile bombs. They're good. Your orders. All right. Let's see what we can do. We have a bunch of torpedoes. What are we going to hit of ourselves if we go for just this shot? Who knows? Let's try anyway. Aye, Admiral. Course engaged. I can tell you now none of these are going to hit. But we'll have a go Ship anyway. Ready. You never know. I don't know. That one might. Oh, he's turning. Yeah, hey, we've got some Engaging torpedoes target. actually hitting. All right, shields are down. Impossible, Admiral. Get some lightning strikes in. Castellan Manipul teleported. Ah, oh, you're facing the wrong way. Where's our Nova Cannon? Teleportarium vectors calculated. Energize vectored thrust. Enemy ship crippled by the lightning strike. And about to be crippled by Nova Your Cannon. Orders? Uh Execute high energy turn. Yep, there we go. Fire to bomb. I Admiral. Understood. Melt a strike. Yeah. 
Yeah, this, this lone cruiser strategy has not worked out well for you. Actually, I actually managed to hit that time. Right, their engines are damaged. We might as well keep right on him. Ramming speed! Setting course. Hello! Underway! Changing course! Execute high energy turn! Boom! We serve! All right, well, that was um, relatively quick. Let's Target deal with this next in. one. We wait your command. With matchless efficiency. Aye, Admiral. Engaging. Yeah, you just seem to be running away from us as well, which is not good for your survival chances here. State your order. Uh, destroy that before we have to run Engaging into it. Engaging drive. Thruster routines active. And let's recharge our void shields. Your orders. Focusing war sight. Engaging target. Okay, right, let's speed up here. They seem, we seem to be maneuvering around an asteroid field, which is never a good thing. But um, yeah, they are they are slowly getting hit, and we can throw a plasma bomb in their way now. Ship Additional ready. collateral troops have been lost. Big Nova Cannon Blast for death, I think. <laughs> and the psychic creature killing it as well. Perfect! All enemy vessels have been destroyed, or have fled with tails between their legs. Then it is a victory. And one well won. Indeed. You have my thanks, Admiral. We owe you our lives. You owe the Emperor your lives, and your service. In his name, I will put both to use. Cadia stands. Indeed it does. Let's just not talk about... I also realised I was talking over a blank screen again, and I know it doesn't record those properly. Well done. Um, okay, so we've had some upgrades. So we now have the command level freeze. So we're the approaching the point where they're now done. On the solar winds, my lord. As it should be. Well done, Admiral. The clarion you have sounded will echo throughout the Eye of Terror. The Imperium reclaims its own. Repopulation efforts are already underway. The scale of it. It's too much for a single sector. Indeed, Admiral. Many of the repopulation fleets are heading to Nemesis Tessera, which the Lords of Terror decree shall now fall under your command. I... I am humbled by their trust. Then reward it with triumph, Admiral Spire. Eyes both near and distant watch your actions with great interest. Right, so. So we have succeeded the Rise of Terror campaign. We now gained 500 renown for that. 300 resources. And we can now... We now get a new Imperial Navy fleet. And now these can appear in missions. So the this is the... Group, Silver Dawn is returning to dockyards via Nemesis Tessera. You will protect it. Of course, my lord. Oh, I Have hate scouting missions. The area is infested with traitors and upstart Xenos. We shall do as our duty commands, my lord. The Elder are about to be encountered. That will be fun. Or Eldarius, they're now known as legal reasons. Okay, so this is the fleet that basically we assisted. I guess if we'd have kept the Cobra alive, it would have survived as well. But um, doesn't matter. In this case, we're going to move it on to the... As far as we can get it, actually. Exeltra Minor. We will want to keep a fleet back, just because it makes sense to defend this little area, in all honesty. But for now, let's see what we can actually do for in terms of meaningful upgrades. Oh, also, we can now actually go to this screen. 
So as you can see, Nemesis, Te Nemesis Tessera has five systems that we care about. Two of them are owned by Blue. Two of them are owned by Red, which is Chaos. But we'll encounter the Eldar and the annoyances of trying to deal with Eldar later. So this is a Hive World, so we want to have that upgraded because it's additional resource points. Uh, next up, we want to... Uh, launch bays aren't really a thing we need to worry about. So that's only a sector-wide thing. Might as well grab the extra resources here. So, two things that increase our resources. Let's then head off to the next sector, because we have some fleets in position just for that purpose. The Fortress Oubliette of Nemesis Tessera was once the Inquisition's most closely guarded secret. A bastion of knowledge and rigor and a convocation point for the Imperium's most trusted servants. No more. The onset of the 13th Black Crusade set the world awash with treachery and war. Though Nemesis Tessera's dread secrets were stolen, the world itself endured thanks to the heroism of the Space Wolves and Inquisitor Ciro. From the doomed hive world of Kima Lomas to the seditious penal world of Avaras Gulag, the sector remains crippled by corruption and heresy. Yet in the forsaken fields of the Obsidian Depths, Mutation, Madness, and all their damned siblings are curiously absent. It is as if the Obsidian Depths border onto something not yet adequately defined. Or perhaps waiting to be discovered. Mystery, mysteries, plots, and plans. But we're also going to send off a second fleet over there because we want to, of course, make sure that there is enough support. Okay. So there sends off. Operatives have informed us of a hidden chaos stronghold at Nemesis Tessera. So it's um, that's the Kimolomus uh, thing that we're talking about. We also have Nemesis Tessera itself. Antonorisis. And also, as you can see, we have Elder ships here. The um, threat level is free and free in both. We're going to claim this system, of course, and grab this. So, Penal World um, increases troop generation and increases chaos threat in a sector unless one of our fleets is stationed here. So, this is kind of a you must have a fleet here at all times, where possible. Also, as you can see, the numbers have increased. We have some potential problems to try and deal with here, and we are going to have to deal with them relatively quickly. We also need four battle plans in order to unlock the Obsidian Depths, where the um, Archaeogella field is applying. So this basically gives us a little bit of defense against uh, various bits and pieces here, at least on invasion fronts. We also cannot ignore the fact that there is a Chaos Thread of 1. That means that at some point in the future, unless we can get... Um, which word was it? This one? One of these worlds allowed us to do things. Where are we? It was Sabina, wasn't it? Okay. So once we level Sabina up to maximum, then we can actually leave this system alone for the most part, because the threat level will be 0 and 0. That being said, for now, our fleets need to repair and they need to head off. We will need, of course, Admiral Spire into the main mission because he needs to be part of all of the major story missions. Because, of course, he is the hero of the Gothic War. Okay, so the Eldari are going to do a thing, are they? No, they're not. Okay, turn 27 then. So we will use our points to upgrade the Sabina system. We will also move Admiral Spire into position here. And we will move you into position there. Okay. Oop, that's gone a little mad there. Okay, fine. So, next time we have the fun and games of trying to deal with Eldar. We also need to take a system which has a... Um, oh, actually, there's a hive world. That's resources. 
card in the world, minor shipyard. Yeah, so we need to get something that's going to give us actual resource points and actual ability to build ships. Because at the moment, I don't think we can actually build new ships here. Uh, nope, we can't. There are no shipyards available. So we have no way to do that. We're just going to have to hope that what we got is bidding. Good enough. So, next time then, we face off against the Eldar. Until then.